Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right. So this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising, a weekly tarot reading for July 22nd to July 28th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we're going to jump uh, straight away to the, uh, to the reading. Okay, so the first card which stands for the topic of uh, Leo week, that is going to be the Magician. Followed by the second card which represents the challenges that uh, Leo needs to overcome throughout the week. This is going to be the King of Cups. Followed by the third one which is in regards to the positive aspect of the week. That uh, Leo will have to enjoy or yeah, they will have to enjoy. And... Uh, the last one is going to be the uh, guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you for throughout the week. That will be the um, the strength card. So pretty positive for what it seems here with these uh, with these cards, guys. Not to mention that there is a uh, three major arcane out of four cards. So it's pretty pretty significant week. Now the good thing is that this week it doesn't look like that something can go wrong in any way. It is just the matter is going to be um, like. Well, that's the thing, there will be something tempting out there that is coming to you, most likely through a, a proposition of some sort. I, however, it, it will requ require from you to devote the majority of your time, let's say, and efforts into it, which will demand, if you decide to do so, to abandon a, a current endeavor that you're working on, all right? And uh, it all comes to a decision that you will have to make should you finish that endeavor and then take this proposition risking that, that, that the offer is not going to stand anymore after this week is gone or completely abandoning your current endeavor, taking the offer, you know, and uh, simply, you know, basically forlorning the prospects that you may have from the endeavor that you're currently working. So it's, it's something like this that is to happen to you throughout this week. So the first card, uh, let's run the cards one more time before we scrutinize them. Now the first one, once again, the topic that will be the Magician. Followed by the second one, which is the challenges here. We do have the King of uh, Cups. Afterwards is going to be the World card, which is the positive aspect. And then uh, it is the guidance that Saru is offering to you. That is going to be the Strength card. So uh, the first one, which is the magician, points to the topic and it looks like that this is going to be very productive and successful week as well, as, as well in which you, um, you basically will be able to work the things through either into your career or either into your marriage, it doesn't matter, as long as you do have the necessary determination to support your actions, all right? So in other words, when you do something, you have to be determined that this is what you want to do. Also, it looks like that you're going to have an exceptional success when it comes to negotiation 
negotiations or making your points across so people will truly going to understand where you're coming from and as well you know it's basically your standpoint and that on its own account is going to win you quite a lot of followers and supporters which from another standpoint especially if you are struggling against someone you know uh, is going to boost or amplify your independence and uh, sovereignty as well the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, justice and so the formation is uh, active supporters so you have with these cards you are to obtain pretty good awareness you know how much it takes for you to push whatever you're working on through either the current endeavor or the new tempting offer which is coming around that is in the second card here which is the challenges all right and uh, you are going to be pretty thorough as well with the plan and the strategy how you are to proceed with either of it so in other words there ain't, they ain't going to be anything hidden for you i don't know how to explain it in english really uh but um let's say that you are going to recognize the entirety of the game as soon as the game presents itself to you so that leads us to the second card here which is the challenge itself and that is a, a person who offers you something in a, such a way that is very tempting and it almost seems impossible for you to refuse although the next cards here are urging you first to finish what you are already working on you know the current project the current promise or uh, stabilizing your marriage for example before you're taking in a new enterprise and etc etc so before you take on this offer or a helping hand or whatever you will you will need to first secure your current uh, current undertakings and yeah that that itself uh is going to be the challenge to resist the temptation to throw everything off bail on everything that you're doing right now you know and charge into this new door that opened uh, for you to take advantage of it um, that being said you know if you are single the things could play a little bit different okay uh, that is just because of the nature of being single that could be a very tempting offer for example uh, for going out for a date or even for to create a relationship but with the first couple of cards it seemed that something will seem a bit off or rather like a uh, not thoroughly thought through yet or not negotiated yet all right not uh, that your point haven't been made across yet and this person that is throwing out this proposition doesn't know what they're getting involved into all right so it will be uh, important if that's your case to elaborate you know what you are expecting from a one relationship the accompanied card here is going to be the king of pentacles formation passive friends so um additionally to that the this person that we do have here uh, have an intention to get something in return this isn't a charity that that we do have with these couple of kings all right it seems like it you know that they are giving you a lot for a very uh, for asking of very little in return but what you're going to give them contains a huge value for them should you take on this um, <clears throat> Or on this offer or a proposition and for that reason you know it will be best if you stop for a while and think of you know how much this person is going to benefit for your of your contribution either career wise or relationship wise i want to i cannot stress that enough guys this ain't a, a charity that person is not doing it for the from the bottom of their heart they do have some plans they um have something to gain from it which is more than it appears um at the first glance it's more than uh, than meets the eye on uh, on the initial stage so that leads us to the next card which is the positive aspect and this positive aspect is going to take place only after you make your decision should you continue on with your current undertakings and for now at least passing on this uh, opportunity or a proposition or should you jump into this opportunity and proposition now if you choose the second option 
then uh, the next couple of cards are not applying to you because you are rewriting your future, right? You have the freedom of, of, of a free will. And based on the current circumstances, which are your current endeavors, <clears throat> the cards play out in such a way. But as you make a new choice, all right, you are embarking on a new path which the current undertakings have nothing, uh, are not taking part of and therefore your future from there, it's a bit unknown. Because Tarot connects past with the present and gives it meaning to the future. And as this opportunity is yet to come, there is no past, there is no present, there is nothing to connect, therefore no future is clear yet. So should you choose to keep on with your current undertaking, undertakings and for now stall, you know, the situation with this proposition. The world card points that you are going to be very successful with those undertakings. As a matter of fact, a major closure is to be achieved, you know, something finished, something finalized, being proud of one's work. And then, you know, you can have a, a, a clear mind and as well empty space as time, you know, and as, as efforts, as finances, you, you name it, to take on new perspective, which new perspective could be once again this proposition that that person is shooting at you. Now, you need to know here, Leo, that this person that comes as a ch in a challenging position, they definitely want you to take part of it, all right? And as throughout this week, you are going to finish the majority of... <clears throat> The current work that you are doing or the current you know enterprises and undertakings afterwards you are going to have the chance once again you know to take on this uh, on this proposition so yeah and uh, on top of that it does look like uh, with the world card is that your future should you um, when you um, finalize you know your current undertakings is gonna look much more foreseeable if I may express myself that way uh, the accompanied card is going to be the tower, the formation. It is a, a passive neutrals. <clears throat> well, with the tower card, it's, uh, it's a very peculiar combination, uh, first of all. So the tower card points that after you finalize, you know, those things that you are working on right now, should you decide to do so, you know, the enterprise into your marriage, for example, or the, the job, the task that your career or your work, have, uh, has gave you, you have a, an option to drastically reform, you know, your status, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. Now, this transformation, however, is going to take some, I would say, either purge, you know, or, or, or some sacrifice, let's name it that way. But ultimately, at the end, what, how you're going to find yourself at is having to work with much more means that you have found yourself once you um, reached that point of a achievement finalized, if that makes sense. So if you finalize your achievements and you say, wait a minute, you know, well, this gives me so much more opportunities, all right, but I have to give something in return or rather like I have to sacrifice something. I have to change. It's not even sacrifice. It's more like changing something with yourself, with your line of work, you know, with how you take on things into your marriage or relationship, or if you are single, how you approach the other person and etc. etc. which is going to pay off big time. But the whole uh, adaptation period could be a little bit more stressful. And finally, at the end, we do have the guidance card, which is the strength card. And this card only points here that you need to persevere through patience, you know, and keep on with the same thing that you're doing right now without giving any explanation why you are doing so, right? Uh, not giving any explanation. It is not for a reason that someone can stole something from you or can ruin something for you. But because when you start giving explanation, you are either guilty or you are either unsure of what you're doing, trying to convince yourself of that you're doing the right thing. So that's why it is best if you don't give any explanation why you're doing something or, you know, um, or why you have made up your mind. In a way. Well, you can't give explanation, but that explanation should not be open for objections. That is the point with the strength card. And uh, finally, you know, uh, it's uh, you... If possible, you know, you should approach those tasks, the very 
final, you know, um, how do I place it here, guys? I'm sorry. The very last, uh, the very last performances upon those tasks and upon those undertakings with huge amounts of of enthusiasm. Let's say, all right, that is in case that is possible. The accompanied card here is going to be the lovers. We do have a an active friends, so. Well, basically, with the lovers card here, it does look like that you are to uh, that this week is also adv advisable for you to try to find out certain resolutions and uh, and ways out of a, a long time lingering issues that you are may finding uh, that you are may finding stuck with uh, small ones, but yet a um, <clears throat> tedious ones. All right. Additionally to that, with uh, these couple of cards, there is a, a very big chance that when you are facing a certain situation that looks very overwhelming, and uh, it's it, it's like everything in this uh, in this situation, it's beyond any repair. Should you not be frantic about it and kind of like freak out about it, but just give it time to unfold, it looks like that there is a very big chance that this situation could resolve itself on its own accord as well. That is a little bit off the, the, the main narrative of the reading, but the guidance card, it's sometimes, you know, it could point to something peripheral. It's just if something unpredictable and bad happened throughout the week well bad let's say unpleasant happened throughout the week you know don't freak out straight away but give it a couple of days to see how the whole thing forms and most likely you're going to see that the the situation is not as worse as you thought it is so that being said leo this was your weekly tower reading for july 22nd to july 28 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then Bye.